And I, I cannot tell you how much it means to get a letter in the mail, and it doesn't matter if it's from someone I have never met, but a letter that says, thank you for being there. I'm really glad you're doing what you're doing. And I said, you know, if there's something I can do, here's my phone number. And, you know, I rarely would call that phone number or go, but just to know that there are people out there, for every one letter that I get from some stranger out in, you know, left horseshoe, North Dakota, I know there's probably 10,000 others who actually feel that way but haven't written the letter, and it means so much. There's also going to be, I'm sure, if Operation Rescue is going to be doing this, there's going to be a need for bodies and for people to be um, there showing their faces in support of, of Dr. Carhart in whatever form that takes. And there's, it costs a lot. The clinic defense, um, putting in cameras, you know, taking care of staff, uh, keeping people safe costs a lot. And we are not wealthy physicians. If I wanted to make a lot of money in medicine, I would not be providing abortions. The doctors go through things that most human beings in this country would never consider going through. And they do it because they understand some things about how essential abortion is to women's lives that most people don't understand. And this is, you know, so I want to kind of answer this question on a couple of levels. One is it does matter tremendously. If Operation Rescue is doing a, a siege or a blockade, people should be there. And they should be there physically with the doctors, with the clinic. They say, no, you're not coming through this. Mm -hmm. And it matters. It really mm -hmm. makes a big difference. And I, I don't remember when we used to do a lot more clinic defense. I, they did these studies about where, you know, if, if the first response is very robust and people come out, several things happen. People learn a lot being out there. They actually learn a lot about who is this movement to end abortion. A lot of the things that I've been talking about, about what they're really motivated by, mm -hmm. they get an education out there, and then they start talking about it, bring other people, be there, and it sends a message. It actually does set different terms. And that's one thing. And the other thing is I do feel on another level that this is not going to change, this dynamic, if there's not a whole, look, there's been a cultural shift on this question for a generation. It's just been a relentless assault, and now you sort of have this thing where you can't blink, and now there's 16 and pregnant on MTV, and there's Juno, and there's Knocked Up, and there's like all this other mm -hmm. garbage that is just, and the idea of abortion, it's not just that the, it's like, it's totally written off. The idea of abortion, and further, the idea that people, that women are fully human. You know, these are notions that are just not on the, not on the radar right now. And this is part of why we, A, the declar I mean, people should get Sue's book, people should get this declaration, and they should get it to people that they know. I just had this image of 10,000 women showing up, walking down the street, every one of them saying, I've had an abortion. If you're calling him a killer, you have to call me a killer. And I am your mother, your daughter, your bank teller, your grocery store clerk, your teacher. I am every woman. And if you call him a killer, you have to call me a killer. And can the politicians, can the, you know, can the, can the general public do that?